In case you missed it, in our last video, I traveled over to England's Lake District to meet up with Matthew. We explored the area on foot and by bicycle. And in this video, we're gonna check out a few more stops before making our way over to Scotland. Our visit just so happened to align with the coronation of King Charles III. We watched a bit of the day's events on TV before heading into town to see all the decorations. We spent the later part of the day strolling along the Cumbria Way, which in total is a 71 mile long footpath that weaves through fields and farms, linking the towns of Ulverston and Carlisle. We enjoyed our quiet walk and even made a few friends along the way. The next day, we took a small road trip to a nearby area of the Lakes District to check out another beautiful hiking spot. We just hiked up Stickle Tarn. Stickle Tarn, <laughs> which was a very vertical hike, not all that long, but very steep um, to get up to this sort of plateaued top. It's not the very top, that's the top, I think. It's about another, I think we've been up well over a thousand feet in just about a mile of hiking, and then that's another thousand feet up right there and there's people. You can walk around the lake. The lake's only a few hundred yards across, but you can walk across that or walk around that. You can get up and just on the other side, there's some people scaling that wall right there. It's a really steep scramble. Or you can hike a couple miles around the back side of it and get up to the top. But I don't think we're gonna do that today. Yeah, I think we're gonna <laughs> call it good at this elevation, but it's beautiful. It opens up into this lake behind us and there's quite a few people, it's pretty busy, but it's a beautiful day <laughs> to be out here. We soaked in the sunshine and some last views from Stickle Tarn and then headed to the bottom for a coffee before making our way back home for the night.
With a few days left in our trip, we decided to drive north into Scotland to spend our remaining time exploring there. We stayed in an adorable tiny cabin Airbnb with the kindest hosts. They gave us lots of good hiking and food recommendations and even baked us a fresh loaf of bread that came out of the oven just in time for our arrival. After a quiet night in by the fire, we awoke the next day and got straight to hiking. We're scoping out some places to try and take some of our own engagement pictures. But I think it'll be fun. We'll take some pictures up here. I think, I think this will be a good spot. Whew. So we'll come up here later tonight and give that a try. So that evening, we headed back up with a tripod in tow to see what we could capture. We quickly learned that we don't know what we're doing, but we had fun doing it. Before heading back to England, we decided to take a detour. We're exploring Edinburgh on our way back to Overston. Hiding out from the rain for a minute. <laughs> Bangs are loving it. It's about to rain, so we're gonna go back to the castle, try to do a tour, and maybe then maybe we'll make it home tonight. Yeah, fingers crossed. All right, let's go explore. It isn't hard to fall in love with this city with its beautiful architecture and rich history. We walked all over town, scoped out some Harry Potter related pit stops, walked through some great cemeteries and toured Edinburgh Castle to round it all out. We ended the day with some Scottish whiskey, iron brew, and some delicious vegetarian haggis. And then, just as quickly as it had started, our wonderful trip was a wrap. The next morning, I was on a plane back to New York with another amazing adventure in the books. <laughs>